goodness. He managed to find them. Incredible. A thousand thanks. I'm wondering... This elemental site... This is what allowed you to locate the items and find me here on the mountains, correct? Yep. Guess it does sort of count as a superpower, huh? Unfortunately, though elemental sight is seldom seen, it is not unheard of in Tevat. Only a never-before-seen otherworldly power would be of benefit to my research. You mean, we failed again? Don't be disheartened. This falls entirely within my expectations. Besides, getting these items back, I'd call this a very worthwhile experiment. I have to commend your deduction that the items would contain elemental traces. Right then. Up until now, our research has focused on your otherworldly identity. Our research on your identity as one of us is just beginning. In essence, the differences between humans are reflected in our intellectual and physical capabilities. Let's start with physical. Looking out from where we're standing, can you see what Sucrose is doing? And if you jumped from here and landed on that cliff, the one over there, could you see her then? So what about if you planted a single blow on the mountain face here, and it burst into a million fragments? Then could you see her? Hmm. Then I shouldn't get too excited. Still, we'll gain a more thorough understanding with an experiment. I know of a location that will be perfect for a physical test. Please, follow me. jump from up here not necessarily not if you know of a better method that is whichever method you choose the experiment will end when you reach the opposite shore of the lake i will factor the time expended and your top speed into my comparative analysis without limitations we complete tasks intuitively using the method that seems most rational to us some of us would be unable to stand the icy waters Others might find the whole thing rather refreshing. No matter what choice you make, it's all a part of the experiment. For me, every detail is invaluable to the research. Then if you would, please, I eagerly await the results. Wait a minute! While we're busy testing, what exactly are you gonna be doing? Me? Recording data, responding to risks, providing... Uh, emotional support. You gonna dive in with us? No. Unless you're thinking of conducting competitive research? Oh! Uh, forget Paimon said anything. Great work. I've never seen a performance quite like it. 
Your reputation precedes you, Traveler. The data shows that you're easily outperforming the average citizen in Mondstadt. But you followed us the whole way without breaking a sweat! Me? <laughs> Actually, I used alchemy to cheat a little. But anyway, if it turns out that the natural laws of Tevad do not affect you, I should be able to make various inferences about the otherworldly civilization you belong to. If the natural laws of Tevad do affect you, then I shall be able to make inferences into the kind of evolution that would occur under the absence of such effects. The innumerable possibilities that this could present, the captivating insights, it would be something to savor again and again. But how does this help your research? You've helped me to unravel many of the problems that were holding it back. When we return to the campsite, I should be able to show you something interesting. I may be about to make some analogies between you and a few... unusual specimens. I hope you won't be offended. Gold, petrified trees, a sun eight times the size of our own. The essence of the investigative process is enthralling, but such feelings are inevitably fleeting in nature. I'm willing to pour all my energy into research, and yet specimens are finite. As the unknown transitions into the realm of scientific understanding, the feeling of enlightenment is lost. All these things that start out as objects of fascination end up possessing the prosaic mundanity of a sunsetia or a sweet flower. They cease to be noteworthy. Oh, so that's why you wanted to sketch those hilly churls? Because you got to see something new and interesting in the differences between them? Precisely. To quote my exact words from earlier, these creatures are, for the most part, quite boring, not worth closer inspection. There is precious little about them that serves to pique my curiosity now. So after all these experiments, are we gonna be, like, boring to you, like sketches? Of course not. You have been of great assistance to me, and I will remember this friendship for a lifetime. Now. Before we head back to the campsite, there's one more experiment. Intelligence. Follow me. There are some other ruins nearby. Imagine you must have encountered more than a few conundrums during your travels. I'd like to observe your intelligence by means of a practical test of your capabilities, much as we did for the physical test. I'd like you to explore these ruins and return with your findings. There are two puzzles located at the far ends of the ruins. After completion, you should be able to activate the mechanism in the center. 
As with the physical test, there are no restrictions. Everything you do is an action I wish to observe. A tried and tested adventurer, I see. So, let's see you in action. Start wherever you like. It's a complex environment, so proceed with caution. Sealy like these are a common sight in the mountains. Returning them to their rightful places is up to you. It should now be possible to activate the central mechanism. Exactly what will happen when you do is something I'm looking forward to finding out. Oh, seems that the water level has suddenly decreased. We should be able to see what's in the water now. What's this? To the best of my knowledge, these belong to a script of some kind. They can be found all over Tevat, but they've never given up their secrets. There's still a lot to learn about them. And as for why they should ever have come to rest here, a true mystery. Let me make a copy first. I'll make time to go over them in greater detail after our research. <sighs> Another thing for the don't understand list. Unsolvable mystery this, weird experiment that. It'd be nice to get some 
cool results for once. But seems like if you want the reward, you gotta pay the price. I've truly gained a lot from all this. Comparatively, the little reward I can offer is too small to mention. Let me return to the campsite first. By the time you get back, I may just have a fleeting miracle for you to witness. Paimon's kind of looking forward to seeing the result of all this brain ache. Unless you can think of anything better to do, let's head back to the campsite. Not so fast. You're not leaving until I'm convinced that nothing dangerous is going on here. I most certainly did not. And I've witnessed everything that you and Albedo have been up to. I must say, you let your guards down. Or maybe you were drawn in by his compelling sounding hypothesis and friendly demeanor. Taking orders from a complete stranger? Drinking anonymous potions? Participating in all kinds of strange experiments? I'd sooner believe you were tricked than that you would be so naive. Or perhaps... You were colluding from the beginning. Listen, sister. Your guard's so high, you can't even see over the top of it! It doesn't matter what you think. He could be a saint for all you know. But I understand him a little better than you, Outlander. I'm only concerned with one thing. Whether his alchemy has transformed you into something more sinister. No way! Paimon would have sensed it! And anyway, he didn't even use any alchemy! With an alchemist of his level, you wouldn't sense a thing. In any case, I'm not about to let a potential threat back into Mondstadt. So... what are you gonna do? <laughs> I've gotta hand it to you. You have your moments. If I can be sure that nothing you came into contact with is dangerous, that's good enough for me. I've investigated everything else. The only items left on the agenda are these symbols. But we don't even know what they mean. Hmm... That much is true. Not to mention, seems like there's nothing more to them. But for insurance purposes, I'd better make a copy. Hmm. This is now a location of interest. Regular patrols should be set up here. Now then, all things considered, I deem that you pose no immediate threat. Which is what I was hoping. I would have been one very unhappy sister if you'd made me work overtime on your account. Overtime? Before we go our separate ways, Outlander, a word of advice. Don't be so quick to trust Albedo, and don't repeat the same mistakes that you did this time. You made a lot of rash decisions today. She's gone! So stubborn. Mondstadt doesn't have many people like that. Huh. Never mind her. Let's go 